Oh, man, it's going down. The greatest to ever do it. The WBC judge that scored the robbery for Oscar Valdez of Canelo team has a formal statement, and he's apologizing for his scorecard after my video drop. Stay tuned to this one. Y'all not going to want to miss what I'm brewing up, what I'm cooking up. See you. Yo, what up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Throw a like on the video. You guys don't understand how important that is. When you guys click the like, share the video so the content gets out, the more eyes, the better, and we're just going to keep trucking. Now, we're getting to that point in boxing where some people are losing faith, but I tell you guys, keep supporting the channel and keep holding on. Don't lose faith yet, because y'all got me. Y'all got me in this boxing game. And all I do is execute, and it's about results. So now the WBC judge, Stephen Blair, his foot and his feet are to the fire. He has had to speak on this egregious scorecard that he left in the Oscar Valdez fight versus Robson Concion. Now he's being made to answer these questions as to how or why he had this type of scorecard. Now, in my past video, and this is why you guys got to follow my channel for the latest and greatest, as you see on the screen, that's Stephen Blair. That's the judge. You see him WBC'd out. He's decked out with WBC shirts, WBC apparel, and one photo that you guys see over there. He's holding the WBC what used to be a coveted green strap. And then if you look above that, there's a picture with the late Jose Suleiman, the OG originator of the WBC. And, you know, we thank him for his contributions, rest in peace. And he passed in 2014. So you see this particular judge has been in, in line with the Suleimans and have been attached to the, the family in some capacity for quite some time. So it becomes a very, and I repeat, very bad look when that same said judge scores a fight for a guy who failed a doping test and the fight shouldn't have happened, Oscar Valdez. You look in these pictures, the screen cap, does that look like the face of a winner? Does that look like the face of a man who's confident with his performance? This is him in the locker room his face looks completely shredded beat up tattered like he put his face in a blender like he put his face in a fan blade or something and somehow some way the judge you see on screen he scored the fight 117 to 110 now i told you guys it made no sense but without further ado we're gonna get into the actual factuals of his statement and this is the WBC. This is their official website. September 13th. Ju Judge Stephen Blaya's statement about Valdez versus Concesio fight. It says, this is an open letter on the WBC's website. And he's explaining what happened. I'll, I'll read the rest so you guys can see. My name is Stephen Blaya. This is an open letter, which I have decided to write with regards to my scoring from last Friday night, Valdez Concesio, the Concesio fight in Tucson, Arizona on September 10th. I have been involved in boxing. See, and when people start opening out with this, this is all filler. I've been involved in boxing. We don't care about none of that. We want to know why your scorecard is what you said it was. But whatever, I'll, I'll, for the sake of continuity, smash the like button, I'll read it. I have been involved in boxing in the ring, official both an amateur professional field for more than 30 years. Irrelevant. I have officiated over 60 championship title fights as a judge and referee. Irrelevant. If you have this much experience, why is your card so horrible? 
I've been a referee in several countries of the world, including Japan, Thailand, Korea, China, Russia, Mexico, and USA. Irrelevant. We want to know why your card is so egregious. I've judged over 200 fights and refereed over 500 pro fights with no controversy. Irrelevant. Because, like, so if I'm an actor and a, and a woman, an actress, a co a co um, co star in the movie accuses me of hashtag me tooing them. Me being in, Oh, I've been in Broadway productions and I've been in a thousand different movies and I work with Denzel Washington. None of that really matters because what matters is what you're being charged for or tried for, at least in the public's eyes. In this case, it doesn't matter if you did 4,000 movies and, and all this other stuff, you're being charged with this we want to know that. So now we got the filler out the way. Let go. He said, I've watched the fight and thoroughly analyzed it. The 117 to 110 scorecard is not accurate, and it does not represent the actions in the ring. And I feel I've let down my federation, the NABF, my organization, the WBC, and most importantly, our sport and the fighters inside the ring. I would like to share my thoughts publicly on the specific conclusions I've reached important topics, judging and boxing. So boxing, this is a failed damage control. And I'm just, this is just funny to me. So that's why I'm going over it. Give him the belt, give strip Oscar Valdez should have been stripped of his title for failing with the Fenter me. That is a fact. He failed for what he signed up for Vada testing. So he should be stripped just based off of that alone just based off of that alone then to make that even more messed up he has a fight and a lot of people thought the fight was a robbery and he shouldn't won so from that moment when the judge says his scorecard was horrible you know the other judges this is what this is the problem with boxing people they have these like half ass half-hearted apologies and stuff we don't want that we want the rightful thing to happen. The person to like Michael Fox, he needs the belt. The WBA, they, they, they were forced to take corrective administrative action on the racist judge Gloria, which I also talked about, but I'll save that for the back half of this video. We don't want to hear apologies and stuff. We want to see action. He said close round. There were a few very close rounds in the fight and I made two mistakes not to score 10, 10, in two rounds, I felt there was not a clear winner scoring these to the champion, giving him the benefit in the close actions. So this is like cop and plea. Crowd noise influence. Man, th this is embarrassing for the WBC. This is a WBC appointed judge. And when the great Ego Stradamus, Ego Veli called him out, now he's apologizing. And he's saying he was influenced by the crowd. <laughs> it was a loud crowd in favor of Valdez during the first rounds of the fight some action place it took place in the corner which i had a limited view of more cop outs don't do your job if you can't see get some glasses binoculars if you can't see hey quick get the binoculars i couldn't see some of the punches landed by conceicao and there was no crowd reaction i mean this is so you're basically inept and incapable of doing your job you should never ever ref again because if you're saying you didn't have a good enough seat right if you're saying you couldn't see the action and you're not wearing like prescription glasses or asking for a better like line of sight or, or whatever vantage point. And then you're saying because so as a <laughs> as a WBC appointed judge, you're worried about the crowd reaction. Unbelievable. He said the crowd wasn't cheering. Of course, he's not the hometown fighter, but that's not how you should be scoring a fight anyway. I was also dealing with the photographer and cameramen all crammed up. I, I don't even want to read all this. I'll put the link in the description. I'm not reading all this, bro. This is just, he talking about the cameraman. <laughs> he talking about he can't see. Considering these distractions, I honestly thought I would be able to do my job 100%, no excuses. Getting stuck on one fighter, I was awarded three of the four rounds to Valdez, which is a combination of the points I've outlined. I have scored the bout on TV, and I have it 115-12 or even a 114-13 and score of Valdez. So now he's saying he still scored it for Valdez, but his scorecard was bad and it was way too wide. I've decided to reach out 
to the committee to undergo thorough training and blah, blah, blah. I'm an honorable man with profound love, blah, blah, blah. So that's basically what I wanted you guys to see. He has apologized. But then again, it wasn't really the truest of apologies. He's saying, oh, I messed up. I messed up. But please forgive me. But I couldn't see because the cameraman, I didn't have the right angle. You know, this is this is sad. This is sad for the WBC. I, I'm just glad this is not my company. I'm glad my company not out here looking crazy because we follow the rules. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. I mean, this is this is truly sad. And it's funny because on my channel, I get a lot of support. So I appreciate you guys for the love. But there are a couple detractors who come in and they say, oh, ego, you can't make a change. Nobody cares what you said. Nobody said blah, blah, blah. But on the contrary, how come when I do these videos, you, you guys see it. It says, wow, Oscar Valdez robbery judge, WBC Canelo team collusion. So I was the first person on all of YouTube two days ago talking about this. I'm always on the front line. You see, I'm making the, the video. And I get everybody talking in the game. So that's not true. What I'm doing is so needed. You guys see, two days ago, I did the video. And then now all of a sudden, after I do the video, then you see the judge, Stephen Blair, and he's forced to somewhat apologize and explain his egregious scorecard. Now, I think we could still do better. And I think that we need to see um, judges start to get removed. And if they can't fulfill their duties, they got to go. So him apologizing, that's cool, but that's not enough. We need to see Robson Conceicao and the Michael Foxes get the belt that they should have always been given. Let me know what you guys think and how you view this video. But I tell you, I get results. We talk about it. There's strength in numbers. People are watching the content. They're sharing the content. And now you see change. So that's what I'm here for. I'm all about that. Peace. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster.